Welcome to the Archaeology Studio. In this installment of Ask an Archaeologist, the question is, will archaeology become exhausted? Conceivably, if all of the physical records of archaeology around the world eventually will be discovered, then nothing more will remain to be known. In this sense, archaeology could become exhausted, but it would not become obsolete. Realistically, the primary data sets of archaeology will not become completely exhausted, and plenty of opportunities will continue for learning about the past and for linking this information with larger research issues. Furthermore, the existing site records and information always can be examined in new ways into the future. We often refer to the world's archaeological records as finite resources. In other words, they are irreplaceable. For the time periods that already have occurred and have become parts of the past, they no longer can contribute any new archaeological material. Whatever records have survived, nothing more can be added in terms of the original primary datasets of archaeology. Through time, people have been creating more material records that potentially could become archaeological records in the future. In this sense, the total worldwide inventory of archaeological data will continue to grow, while an increasing percentage will be recorded every year. At least currently, though, any new materials would be created along with existing written records and other documentary evidence, and therefore these contexts of the modern era can be studied through history, sociology, and other disciplines perhaps more efficiently than through archaeology. In some perspectives, a sense of urgency applies for maximizing our knowledge about archaeological sites before they all disappear. Every time when a housing project, roadway, or other construction has removed an archaeological site from the ground, then accordingly less opportunity exists for learning about those ancient contexts. In this point of view, every archaeological site is unique, and it deserves special treatment, such as through preservation, scientific study, and general appreciation. In most parts of the world, archaeological sites are protected by serious laws and regulations. Idealistically, those sites are preserved in their contexts, and they can be studied and appreciated in perpetuity. More frequently, however, sites become threatened by new construction projects, and then the site contents can be preserved through maximum recovery of the primary data. In this way, large amounts of the world's archaeological records are removed from the ground every year, and potentially the percentage of removed material will approach 100% of the primary dataset. The practice of 100% site recovery, of course, does not occur in every case. In fact, a popular approach in the United States has involved minimal examination of archaeological sites. In this minimalist approach, sites are examined in small percentage samples, while the sites overall are protected without disturbance. Typically, excavations might be restricted in size to a few test pits of 1 by 1 meter each, amounting to a fraction of the total site. In many cases, sites are recorded only in their surface visible components, and no excavation is performed. In principle, the minimalist approach can preserve archaeological sites, but in essence this approach ensures that most of the primary datasets of archaeology remain unknown. Effectively, these sites become protected against the archaeologists ever learning anything new. The only preserved knowledge would be based on superficial and incomplete observations. 
In one way or another, archaeological sites worldwide have been documented more and more every year. In some regions, the knowledge base of archaeology has become extensive, and genuinely new material discoveries have become quite rare and unexpected. In other regions, however, new discoveries continue to change the basic archaeological inventories and knowledge. Generally speaking, archaeological knowledge in any geographic area begins with a basic outline that eventually becomes more and more detailed and refined. At a certain point, site documentation becomes redundant in terms of detecting the basic information content of what kinds of archaeological evidence have survived for each known time period. After reaching the point of statistical redundancy of basic information content, archaeologists then can begin to develop different kinds of questions about the past, and different ideas about what can be learned from the existing site records. Given the actual practice and process of archaeology as a discipline, the field of archaeology will not ever become completely exhausted or obsolete. Something new always can be discovered and learned, at least in three ways. First, in many places the baseline archaeological inventories have not yet been outlined. Second, in the places where the basic outlines have been accomplished, more research will be necessary for refining the knowledge about those past contexts. Third, in the rare places where archaeological knowledge has been exceptionally detailed and thorough, archaeologists can develop new kinds of questions and new ways of examining the existing datasets. Will you want to see more episodes about archaeology? I encourage you to explore the online archive of episodes and playlists in this YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to this channel and never miss another episode of the Archaeology Studio.